Move on to this yes. next topic. Okay, thank you for joining us. Keep the conversation rolling. Uh, we are going to talk next about Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. So the latest in that, he was um, arrested for suspicion of DUI, driving under the influence. He did have a field sobriety test. He blew 0.00%, no alcohol in his system. Um, but he's coming out and saying, and he put out a statement and paraphrasing here, saying that it was an unexpected reaction to a mixture of prescription drugs. But what's startling is to look at this video and see what prescription drugs, if this is the truth, if he's mm -hmm. telling the truth, and I mean, he blew zero when it mm -hmm. came to alcohol, so there was something in his system that was affecting him. I mean, he's delirious. He does not know what he's doing. He was pulled over on the side of the road, sleeping. Um, his right blinker was on, his brake lights were on. He couldn't walk a line, his eyes are closed. And if you hear this, it, it is a startling video to think, oh my gosh, it, the conversation now is it's much more than just alcohol. You hear DUI, like Walt mm -hmm. said yesterday, you think, oh, there was alcohol, he was out mm -hmm. at the bar, he was driving, how irresponsible. Not saying that this is not irresponsible. The fact of the matter is he had something in his system. He knew he was taking prescription drugs. We all know that affects mm -hmm. you. And then he was pulled over on the side of the road mm -hmm. um, and, he, and he got arrested. Yeah. So we want to ask you, you know, what what you have to say about this? Yeah, video? and I posted the video on my Facebook page yesterday, and I didn't give a whole lot of context as yeah. to why I did. And I got a lot of negative feedback about why I posted it, and people saying, you know, you're trying to make him look even more in poor light. You're trying to shame him, trying to bring out more of the embarrassment for him. Yeah. And I want to be clear. The reason why I posted it, so I've gone back and, and re-typed up what tone, I said. Yeah. Um, was because I think so many people don't realize that driving while under the influence of prescribed medication can be deadly, it can be incredibly dangerous to other people on the road, and this is something that so many of us probably have access to. How many times have, have I been given a, a certain medication because I had something going on that in the back of that pill bottle said, yeah. do not operate heavy machinery, and it is the responsibility of the person taking those medications to know that there is a reason for that warning on that label. And so when I posted the video, it was more to bring light to the fact that if you are going to be someone who is taking prescription medication just please, please, please talk to your doctor about what the side effects are going to be because this is considered driving under the influence and mm -hmm. he was arrested for DUI in this case. Mm -hmm. So when I saw uh, the video, well, most of, let me start with this. The backlash that I see on my uh, Facebook and Twitter, Instagram feeds, it's not necessarily so much about driving under the influence. It's the, the idea of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Meaning you take some uh, medicine, you realize, oh man, I'm a little too woozy. Let me pull off the road because I don't want to drive and endanger somebody, and then you get arrested anyway. So that was what was right. what was on my timeline. Not necessarily the discussion around um, uh, what you know what we constitute as being under the influence. It was I realized that something that I did was was messed up, and I did what I thought I was supposed to do to fix that, mm. and then I still get arrested for it but and we now we see the video in that case that tiger had that conversation with himself well well if you pull over th yeah. I, i'm only assuming if you if you're looking like he like he was in that video and you pull over you recognize hey mm -hmm. i need to pull over right so he wasn't continuing he, he wasn't had, he, he wasn't continuing he was on they didn't they didn't stop over. him pull ditch. him over right he pulled himself over to so to even get to that point you had to at some point i'm assuming recognize that you were doing something that was dangerous mm -hmm. and then you still end up in this situation you still end up arrested you still end up this way even though you tried to help the situation. Right. Not saying that driving, un and I'm not saying anything about the driving under an influence, I'm saying it was the concept of, so if you are in a situation, let's say you have a bad back and you take your medicine because your back is throbbing and if something goes wrong, you made a, made a mistake and took some Advil with it and you're woozy, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You pull over. Right. But then, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Don't you think there has to be consequences? Because then uh -huh. I could see people taking advantage of this. Well, there should be consequences, but again, so, Again, what was the right like? What was the right thing to do? Right. right. So, not so get, we won't do not it. get in the car when you're taking prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. But all prescription drugs, and that's the thing. But so, and I'm interested fine, to see what comes some, out after we get right. the statement from Tiger yeah, about what, what drugs really were happened. they? What yeah. drugs were, were was they? Was there a warning label 
um, the combination, just like, you know, mm -hmm. and this is a weird, but it's what I'm thinking of, yesterday with the banana boat sunscreen. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the reaction is unexpected because, well, to the rest of the world, it's fine if they take it or if they yeah. put the sunscreen mm -hmm. on, nothing happens to the body. But in some cases, the baby's body gets completely burned because of the chemistry between the, the sunscreen and the skin. In this case, maybe the bottom. And these are all assumptions. Maybe the bottle said you're going to be fine, and he wasn't when he mixed them. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, and are we chemists? We don't really know. Right, we don't, we don't know. Really I mean, know. we have to wait and see, but I, I exactly. guess it was more about the feeling. What was your feeling when you saw that video? Should we share I, it as media members and put uh, Tiger Woods on blast if maybe this was not okay. his fault? Okay, so I'm going to push back on one thing. Okay. This is what I have a problem with. Uh, the way the legal system works in the United States is you are innocent until proven guilty. Right. Now, we are going to make a lot of assumptions here that are probably going to be spot on when this goes through the whole process. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with 911 tapes being released. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Th this is dash cam video mm -hmm. of a still ongoing thing. I know he Private was arrested moment. and charged. Has he been arraigned? Where are we in the legal process? This kind of stuff, I'm fine with that being released to a jury in a trial. But there's a bunch of things ahead of time. And I know that there are laws, especially in Florida, this stuff is really easy to get. TMZ mm -hmm. was all over it because they know the process there. Mm -hmm. Your mugshots, uh, dash cam video, there's a bunch of things that they can uh, request uh, and they're going to get access to and they're going to release it because some of this stuff is public information. But this is just from me. I have a problem with all of this stuff being out there before we are at that point in the whole legal process. Because he'll live on the internet for the rest of his life. Exactly. Everyone else. Well, and Let's we just are say now this. judging based on what we assume out of right. the video and rather we than are yeah, not exactly. officers. Yeah, right. it, exactly. And I understand it's part of the the arrest record, the police the police report. This is all admissible and all this stuff. But I'm just saying, you know, like the 911 tapes and the, the body cam video of that uh, of what happened Orlando in Orlando nightclub. But well, the difference I with that, it's almost been a year and it is highly edited. And sometimes you do point. need body cam footage and dash cam oh. footage. You have incidents for where you case. have law enforcement abusing power. Because oh. in that, in that case, we're like, thank God for the dash cam. Oh, I'm not, say, I'm not saying don't have it. <laughs> right, right. No, 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 I'm not <laughs> saying don't have it. You that point in though. I'm not saying don't have it. You're right. You're right. Give me the cam. But what I'm saying is, let's just say this. And this is what I always, whenever I'm on this show, I always try and bring this point home. What if that were you? For example, let's just to say something awful happened at my house with my family. I call 911 mm -hmm. and I'm reporting what's going on. Maybe it's something with my neighbor. Maybe there's a fire across the street and I'm erratic, I'm, I'm, I'm rattled, I'm emotional and all this stuff goes on. And someone says, hey, local Maybe weather guy freaks out on 911 tape. Let's get a hold of this and then they play it. Look. The, why why do we have access to that where is that but you know what in the process and we've seen this so many times all the time it happens is that people the, the, in their worst moment becomes public record and it's blasted everywhere and Not my whole point is if you're comfortable with all of this with dash cam video being released before you go to trial mm -hmm. what have mm -hmm. you what if that were you you have to be comfortable what if there's a special to to we know some of the circumstances here but mm -hmm. what if the circumstances in your personal situation were different and mm -hmm. then the dash cam video gets released and you mm -hmm. still have a side of the story to tell but you're not going to tell it because you have a lawyer and it's not your day in court i hear you on i this. have a problem with this i hear you however and this might make a lot of people angry but it is our job as a journalist, as journalists, members right. of the to, media, when we have information that we think could be of value or benefit to society, typically we use judgment ethically to decide whether or not it's good or not. Sometimes we miss the mark with some people. Sometimes they enjoy it. Sometimes they dislike it. Okay. I'm curious, real quickly though, <laughs> do you think that we should be showing the dash cam video? Are you upset by that? Okay. Personally, real quickly, I found it educational. Because you can clearly sure. see, he, he came out and said that it was prescription medication. We're mm -hmm. not assuming that. We didn't have to take that to a trial to be able to release that information. He said that. So now we have this image to go with his story. So right. in my opinion, I thought it was educational to but say, But the story Look. came about because the way people responded to a, your original post. And it, it could have been the same thing because I was one of the first to share you know the released mm -hmm. footage of orlando not thinking about how about those parents mm -hmm. who are whose mm -hmm. kid is right there in front of that officer right. how about those parents who are listening to that phone call that was probably them terrifying oh, devastating yeah. and right. there i am sharing it and adding to it again that was edited in this case and we both did it we're sharing tiger with stuff not not realizing but until someone says wait why are you why mm -hmm. are you doing this then we it. then we questioned ourselves and said well because it's educational 
But that wasn't the original intent. No. Well, when posting, it, and it, I'll it admit that. Who you're it's TMZ at the and who's website. No. It, 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 that no. wasn't my I'm first sorry, intent. I, I get okay. it now. Right. It depends on who. It, it depends on people's perception of what you see. Because sometimes when you have things released like uh, police footage or uh, backstories on people, um, people like we had Dr. David Dow, and they dug up all the dirt on Dr. David Dow. With, uh, automatically, certain groups of people see that as character assassination and, mm -hmm. and aiming to put someone in a negative light with, without with covering it with, I'm trying to show the facts. It, because that's a history mm -hmm. that's been going on in, in America. Unfortunately, that's just where we are. So some mm -hmm. people automatically have a visceral reaction to it without even trying to see your side of the story because it, it becomes that, that situation where they're like, okay, here we go again. Mm -hmm. So, peop, again, it, it just depends on your perception, mm -hmm. what you've been through, life experiences, but, uh, I mean, what you gonna, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. And mm -hmm. Monica says this, no, you shouldn't be showing it. I hear you, Monica. And she says, shouldn't have been released by the police department. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's when... Sometimes we say, well, it was released already. That means that it's now within mm -hmm. our jurisdiction to decide if we want to show it. But clearly mm -hmm. the police department said, here. And what was their intent? Are they, they might, saying they this is for educational? To. I think in Florida, I think Florida law is that they have to release it. Well, then why didn't they release Orlando? That I don't A know. A year ago. Yeah. 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 I don't know. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I know we're in if OT. I don't know something, yeah. I'm going to say what? I don't know. They can hold it back for an active criminal investigation, producer Billy is saying in my okay. ear now. So we're going to keep this conversation going. Uh, we are in a little bit of overtime yes. now. Dina has to go <laughs> anchor the 9 o'clock show. Uh, we do have the latest. You can go to my Facebook page, any of our Facebook pages. We um, do have the latest on Kath Kathy Griffin, how she has been pulled from CNN uh, because of that what looked like Donald Trump in the decapitated photo that went viral oh. yesterday. Mm -hmm. If that's not a tease, I don't know what yeah. it is. Also, but yeah. the seventh grader, her poem that she yes. read aloud, I put it on my Facebook page. Go Such check it cool out. Such a cool moment. Yeah. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us on Extra Shot. Thank you, Rob, for joining us. Yes, yes thank no you guys. Go do the nine. Okay, right, bye. <laughs> Enjoy them. Bye. Channel 10 right now. <laughs>